So guys, we are back with our next tutorial. As we have discussed in the previous tutorial, the two main methods of Cauchy's residues theorem. Sorry. So now in this tutorial, let's go through the last method. That is nothing but the range will be minus infinity to infinity, and the given question will be in terms of x. So it will be in the function like this: minus infinity to infinity f of x dx. So basically you will be assuming this as f of z and you will be solving it and you will be assuming that as closed integral and you will be solving it and you will be multiplying it with the extra terms whatever you will be finding here and that will be our answer. This is really really simple guys. This is going to be more simpler than the previous cos and sine functionality that is 0 to 2 pi. This will be the easiest one. So the given question should be minus infinity to infinity so then the question will be really easy guys so that's the reason why i have took a small twisty question for us so evaluate integral 0 to infinity 1 by x square plus 1 dx by using crt so even in this method he will be not giving any radius or something like that so you need to assume that the positive imaginary parts are inside the circle and the negative imaginary parts are outside the circle so let us go through the solution once you are there you'll be clear in it with it so evaluate integral 0 to infinity 1 by x square plus 1 dx by using Cauchy's residues theorem so given integral 0 to infinity 1 by x square plus 1 so basically we need minus infinity to infinity so here halfway is missing right so 0 to infinity distance and minus zero, 0 to minus infinity distance will be same but only negation so I'll be considering infinity to minus infinity and I'll be making it exactly half so that I'll be getting only this is my result so I'll be multiplying it with half and I'll be changing the lower limit to minus infinity so now the given question is in the exact form of our formula so now I'll be assuming this as f of x so I'll be changing the x with z so f of z is equals to 1 by z square plus 1 and now I'll be finding the as usual poles that is nothing but denominator is equals to 0 so I got z is equals to plus or minus i so I have told you that the positive imaginary parts will be inside and the negative imaginary parts will be outside so now these are the roots okay fine so now this uh, plus i is inside and minus i is outside. So residues of f of z, z is equals to plus i is equals to limit z tends to i, z minus i by 1 by z minus i into z plus i. So these two are going to get cancelled, right? And we will be replacing z with i, so we get 1 by 2i. So this is our answer for now. So basically we got residues. So, we will be applying this into our main formula of integral closed circle C guys. I hope you remember the formula that is nothing but 2 pi i into residues. So, once you substitute in the formula, I have got the answer is pi. So, from the first equation, we have converted it into minus infinity to infinity, right? So this is an equation guys, remember this equation, these both are equal, integral close the circle C, f of z dz is equal to minus integral minus infinity to infinity f of x dx, these two are equal, this is a condition, remember. So basically the given question is not in terms of this, so we converted it, so we multiplied 1 by 2 into this. So now we got this value, right? So minus, integ minus integral minus infinity to infinity f of x dx is equal to 1 by 2 is the multiple that we multiplied into pi. So we got pi by 2. So now I hope everyone is now clear with this topic. So this is the end of the second chapter, guys. So in the next tutorial, we'll be going through some important formulas of this chapter. Thank you. Thanks for watching.